Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. I got video with one flag out there than the uh, prisoner of war flag on the other side. Really? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if they took, they must have taken it down at some point then. Because so all the videos, and I took pictures to make sure. They, they would have uh, been quick then. Yeah. Durst, What's how up? do you feel about Antifa 2020 fashion trend? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, right. No, I'm sure the, the, I'm sure the, I'm sure the progressives love that they have a, a widespread excuse to cover their faces now. So they can do extra magically duplicitous things <laughs> and not get caught. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, we what, all wear bandit masks now. We all look for clan. Coronavirus 2020. It's just an extra excuse for them to be more dishonest. Right? Versace's gonna walk down, and it's gonna be like a guy that looks like Antifa, but in a dress, but in a dress, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that dress magically makes that person a woman. You'll be swinging. And if you disagree, it. you are a Nazi. It, and it won't be a manly kilt either. It'll be like one of those luxurious dresses. They'll have much. So, have you guys seen the picture of the politicians inside the Michigan Capitol building wearing bulletproof vests? Yeah, I was going to go down to Michigan because I saw that. Um, my friend uh, Kristen Megan, she speak, they spoke at it. Uh, it was like yesterday, right? She's an activist, and I know her through the Ron Paul movement. So she's from Illinois, and uh, I wanted to go cover it, but no. I'm part of all these groups, and this information is just, they're so busy, you know, so you get 2,000, 10,000 posts, you know, a day. The mainstream media response to that post was, oh my God, if you have to wear a mold, it's best to do your job, there's something wrong with America. Wasn't the Second Amendment specifically written to shoot tyrants? Meaning, if you feel the need to wear a bulletproof vest because so many of your constituents your yeah. want to shoot you, you might be doing your job incorrectly. I mean, the last time I saw officials with bulletproof vests on, I was looking at Cuba. So can I ask you guys a question? Do you think that China released the Wuhan in order to make more room for population in Africa? Since now the world, the, the, the world food program is saying that the over 120 million people are going to starve in third world countries. Uh, because of an economic shutdown globally. Now I can show you. The coronavirus kills 37,000 in America, but now the human response of economic shutdown is going to cost how many more lives? Yeah. Now, so my question is, is China's been all over Africa. So all of a sudden, Africa's going to get hit with this hard depopulation. They're buying up Africa. They're moving businesses because they don't have room in China. Maybe they do. I don't know a whole lot about the Chinese people. Like I think China would rather run their own genocide program in Africa than release a virus that would hurt them themselves. Yeah. Because I think they're that brutal. If they're going to have a concentration camp system for the Uyghurs, they do the same shit. Now. Well, did you hear the breaking news yesterday that came out that uh, Obama actually has a contract with China for three torture facilities? Really? Yeah, take a look into this. This is just this is breaking. This is coming out yesterday. It's tremors in the underworld. I'm sure you'll see your... Uh, Probably uh, disproving media or snopes on it in the next probably couple days. I, I know the CIA used an interesting assembly of countries, but they were all historic allies of ours. Um, that you know people would end up all over the world. I'm trying to think. Weren't there like Polish and Latvian? There were some Baltic state black sites. Countries that you would never think of, but countries where the government could easily get away with doing dirty deeds with the CIA. Yeah. 
Well, they used to just fly in the airport and do it off the soil, right? Now they yeah. now they actually have facilities. I think Jordan was another country that facilitated yep, that you're right. for us. Yeah, so you know about this? Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'm not and the it's, only It's interesting there. to see that China gets expanded to that list because it wasn't thought that China was our friend on this issue. But when it comes to, I guess, Globalism. Muslims in general, they may... It comes down to this global mafia state that yeah. Soros was talking about at Davos in 2017. It's all about global control and power and being able to divvy it up order. in a global new world. Well, I don't know why. Why? I mean, if there's, if you don't want conspiracies about a new world order, why do you use it in public speeches? Why do you write books about it? Uh, look at books like, um, uh, what was that? Uh, Andrew Phil, uh, Andrew uh, Philip uh, Administrator. It's uh, written in like 1909, uh, Banker's Handbook to Take Over the World, talking about establishing a Federal Reserve and Philip Drew Administrator. That's what it was. Philip Drew Administrator. Oh, banking conspiracy. Hey, hey man, yeah, yeah. cool with the anti Semitic remarks, okay? I mean, oi vey. I gotta go get my chart. Well, right what, what makes you think all bankers are Jewish? <laughs> That's kind of uh, anti Semitic. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. <laughs> uh, whoa, I, it seems to get bigger every time I look over the crowd. I know, dude. I'm trying, bitch.